Alrighty, here we go again. I want to thank you for coming back. Uh, we appreciate it. We appreciate all the comments and all the everything we do. We really appreciate it. But as you can see, uh, what we got going here, um, we're just trying to finalize the back of the car, trying to get it tight and right. Uh, we've got the wheel wells going tight. They're all welded down here. Not, it's not welded completely down here yet like we want it to, but it's coming. We've got the back welded on. You can go on Facebook and you can see Jolene welding up her race car. That's what we do. I'll plunk something on, then she can weld it on. But we've got this plunked on in the back. We did not cut the piece on the back. We did not cut that off and butt weld that on. We laid it down. There's two pieces. I can weld that together. And I have not decided whether I'm going to keep that piece or I'm not going to keep that piece. And it's just as simple as this for me to go on the inside see where it's welded, take the zip, cut, and cut it off. Um, this is a seam here that would be ground out and look nice anyways, so it does not matter to me about the back. Um, but, as you can see, if you come around here with Jolene, you can see that the square stock is going back, is going back on the wheel well. It's all right back to the wheel well. Now we got to connect that back to that square stock at the very end, right there by the jack. Um, that stock, that square stock has to be connected to the other side. There's a couple different ways I could do it. Yes, there is, but I, you know, as we, as I'm doing it, I have to think about what I'm doing next, sort of. You have to portray that. If I take a piece of square stock on like this right here, and I, and I bang it on the floor, I could probably get it to fit the shape. Well, I know I can get it to fit the shape because I would just bend it. If I had to, I'd just get this shape right here, and then I could weld this square stock to this and then I could connect the corners after I get this square stock welded on the inside of this then that would give something for the floor to lay on I have thought of that I don't want to do that this is I'm just saying where I'm going um, th what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this here to the square stock it's in there I'm not going to try to ma make it fit the back I'm just going to run it straight across so there's going to be a gap there where this is still not tied in to the floor. To ha you know, the whole outside of the body has to be tied into the floor. It doesn't have to be, but it's supposed to be, and it should be. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off to length, put my square stock in from there to there, and there's going to be a gap in the back because there just is, because I'm only coming back to the wheel well here somewhere, and there's going to be a gap back here. But what I'm thinking is if I put that square stock along there, when we put our aluminum floor in, we would never be able to use the drill bit to rivet our aluminum floor down. We'd never be able to use the, bit, the drill to get it in there. And I'm thinking if I keep it off the body and keep it away from it, you know, a little ways, I might be able to get a drill down there and drill that aluminum floor on. So what that means is once the square stock goes across, then I've got to make a piece of metal from this that goes up to the square stock and closes it all off and finishes it. That's, so that's what I'm going to do at the present moment. I'm going to take a piece of square stock. I'm going to cut it off from that end to that, to that length. I'm going to weld that in there so I know I can lay my floor on it. And I can still get the drill bit or drill and the drill bit get down there and, and rivet that floor on. But then what I have to do once I get the square stock, I have to make a panel that goes from the square stock down to the body that makes this all tight and closes it off and uh, makes it right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to lay it underneath there. We'll get a measurement and we'll go for it. We'll put it in, we'll show you how we're going to tie the back in. And, I'm going to say, and as you're doing this, th th this is how it goes. When you make the skeleton, then you just figure on from there what you want to do to make it look right and where you're going. That's what you do. Just make it go and fit what you need to be have done. Um, and there's many different ways you can do it. I mean, Let's face it, um, just because I put the square stock in like that doesn't mean you couldn't put it in another way. Does not at all. So I'm just going to lay on my back. And this is what I'm saying. From here, if I run my square stock out here, I'm thinking that I can get a drill bit in it and, and, and lay the floor on because the floor is going to come down on this right along here, and then it's going to go right along the square stock in the back. But as you see, all this will be open. Can't have that, so we'll have to make a panel to go from this square stock down to this panel in the back and close it all off. This is all going to be shaved up nice. We'll weld it all the way along there, or Jolene will, and this one has to be cleaned up too. We're going to take the backing plates off 
and we're going to take the wheel cylinders off. We've had a couple of nice phone calls, people suggesting that. Good suggestion, and that's what we're probably going to end up doing. Now, forty-three. Forty-three is our number. Forty-three is our number. I want to take and make a little cut here, make something a little straighter. Looks a little crooked. A little crooked. my chance, they may as well. Alrighty. We'll cut a piece of square stock 43 and get it jammed in there. And then, then we'll make this metal panel. I'll show you how I'm gonna make this metal panel fit. Jolene will probably have to check my sound once in a while because I'm laying on my back. And uh, I don't mind Jolene touching me at all. Was down? Yeah. I wonder if that's any good or. No, I think so. All right, they can still here. Jolene looks amazing today, as always. <laughs> Try not to let that happen, but it does once in a while. Yes, it does. It catches on you. He's going to pull the welder over. We have a 220 set up here. It's working good. It's working good. I use a Lincoln welder. I've had quite a few people saying that they have bought a Lincoln welder. I, congratulations. I'm, I'm glad you're on board. Uh, Lincoln is, has been our go-to welder. Jolene does a good job with it. And uh, that's what matters if you're able to do a good job with it. Get that set up right there. Get the gas on. Use Jolene's brand new helmet. You don't mind, do you, baby? She don't mind. She don't mind. Let it go underneath here again. I hope it don't knock the... Try to stay up off that if I can, sweetheart. And with, with me putting the square stock in here from end to end, like... Yeah, just a little shy. I gotta cut a little more. I'll get a crooked cut. With me putting that in there from square stock to square stock, the way it is now, I know that the floor is gonna come down on it and fit it nice. If I made it round, I might not be sure if I had it in the right spot. Moving it up a little closer. There we go. Ah. What's I'm gonna do? Jolene did a good job welding it all on yesterday. Did a fantastic job, I must say. She did a fantastic job. Just gonna hold that there. You can hold your fingers there for a minute. If you hold them too long, it'll burn you. But you can hold it there for a little bit, it won't burn you. Or I do anyways, don't burn me. Huh. Wow, that worked nice underneath there, didn't it? Huh? That worked nice. I can't see, I can't see my light. What's going on? Why can't I see? Beautiful. Now we got a place for our floor to come down and lay on. But we still have the ass in the car, nothing going on there, so we're going to have to fix that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten that weld off, flatten that weld off. I think what I'll do is I'll do it from the bottom so I can come off from the top with, with the aluminum. We'll make a piece, we'll put a little bend in it. Actually, we don't even have to put a bend in it. We just run it down like that on the outside, we trace it off, and then we weld it on. It'd be that basic. 
and all, when it comes to the corners, when it comes to corners, well then that's, that's where we take a, little, take a little time and put a few pieces in. We've got to run a little piece in here. It's a little rusty there yet, a little rusty on this side. We'll fix some little corners. And then we'll cap the corners. But from here on in, we're going to run to get a piece of metal. We'll run it down here. We'll come on the outside and trim it. And just like that. Try not to make things too hard or difficult. I try not to make things too hard or difficult. Hope I got a one. We'll see what happens here. Now, I was thinking I might put a bend on the metal, but if I don't have to, if I don't have to put a bend on it, why would I? If I don't have to, why would I? All right. You see, we're not long enough. We need a longer piece to come all the way out. See what I would do is I'd weld it along here, right along to here, and then I bring it out past this, and then I trace it off. And a measuring tape will tell me how wide a piece I need, and the center should be the biggest, longest. The center will be the longest. I guess the hardest thing is getting up and down. We're saying 11. 11 by 43 would probably be the answer. 11. I hope that's 11. I'm hoping that's 11. 10 and a half. Got to try it. Got to try it. I'm going to go 43 because that's the length of the square stock. No, 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 I'm going to go longer than that. I'm going to go 43, add an inch and a half, so 43. The square stock is, is, three, is three quarters of an inch, so two of them will be inch and a half. So 43, 44 and a half. 44 and a half is what I'm going to cut that. See what we get, see if we can make it. 44 and a half. I'll do one end. It's good to measure 40. Four and a half. Checking my mic. Four and a half. Square stock for that. Uh, put that in my pocket. Uh, electric shear or grinder? Grinder makes a lot of noise. Electric shear it across. Cord right over here. Woo! Jolene's been drinking again. <laughs> it's not fair when I get the mic and I get to talk and Jolene didn't get to say. <laughs> it's not fair. We all should know that life is not fair. We all should know that. And expectation leads to disappointment. Expectation leads to disappointment. So if you expect something, <laughs> sometimes you're, you're led to disappointment. And if you can keep that... Keep that stuff relevant in your mind. Sometimes things go easier when you're, when you're thinking about things. Things go easier. And what I mean by easier, you can understand it easier. All right. Ah! Oh, I can go on that side. That's what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do, well, that fits nice along there. I didn't have enough here in the back side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it on the far side of the square stock, right here at the far side. I know I have to go way up there. You know, I don't have to go way up there. Can't go way up there because it's too short in the middle. You can see where it's too short. Well, actually, it's just right on, is it not? Man, I don't know. I better. I'm going to. I'm going to have to tack it on. We'll tack it on, and then we'll go from there. See what we got. We're a little bit. Man, that's close. Jolene's give me the 
give me the go ahead. Here, you go ahead and tack that on. I don't want that to fall on my face. That's what I don't want. All right. I should have probably buzzed them. That don't matter. That don't matter. I got a little piece of piece of rust there I want to get past. Huh? Um, not this second. I don't. Just want to see where I can get it, and make it look the best. I don't want to. Actually, what I want to do is grind a little bit of that off. Watch your eyeball, sweetheart. The other side's laying nice. So I'm gonna go with it there. I'm gonna put that right there. It's gonna find the same distance. There we go, same distance. You know what I mean? What I mean by the same distance? I'm just looking at that distance where I've got that welded on there. And I'm gonna do, do the same distance over here. It's just to hold it on. That's all I'm doing is holding it on. Gives me the same distance over here. That means it's nice and straight. All right, cool. Now we're gonna come down back, see what we got. You can see the cor that the corner got a little tiny piece to put in on the corners, but that's not much. That's an easy, an easy fix. It's easy. And the reason it's easy is because I said so. And it is. I'm just gonna tack that on there like that. Just gonna push that in where I want it. Ah, oh, I didn't get no helmet on. No sense. No sense doing that. We're gonna take a look at it. Looks nice and round to me. Push this in a little bit right there. Actually, it's quite nice. Right there. I want to pry this out though. Yeah. Just, a, just a little bit. Once it's tacked, then you can do. You, you, then, then you can do stuff with it. Just want to bend this out a little bit. Jab myself in the face. Don't want to do that. Alrighty. I'm just gonna actually, it's tight there. I might as well throw a helmet on and uh, do it halfways right. I got a helmet right there. Watch this, but just oh, 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 oh. Jolene's only got so much room. Watch the patina. See that? The corners are, are a bit standing up. Just going to get a pair of channel locks and make them go where I want them to go. They're a little bent up around the corners here. And it's just a matter of grabbing our channel locks and making it, making it right. And that's basically what I'm doing here. But if I'm bending it, it's just by eye. I'm just bending it by eye, you know. It's nothing that no one else can't do. By eye. Alrighty, let's rock and roll. If I haven't told you before, 
It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. It's a long way. ACDC taught me that. Don't know if I like that. Didn't like how I burnt that off. But. Trying to put it in place, I guess. That's what I'm doing. We'll come along. I'll cut it off. Just don't want to take it back off because it's fitting. That's why I don't want to take it off because it's fitting. I could take it off, take more time, trim it, put it back on, trim it, mess with it. Can do that. Don't feel like it. Don't do that much. Try not to. I guess, <laughs> I guess me, me as a body man or a car builder or anything like that, I generally think about how long or how quick can I do it. Um, um, how good you can do it, that comes with practice. It really does. But now that I've, I've done it so many times, I re it really, it really, what can I say? I really think about how long it takes. That's the basic that's the basic thing that I go over in my brain the most. How long is it going to take? How, you know, is it worth it? You know, doing the th some things that we do to make it tight and right. Is it worth it? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Have to weigh your odds. Lead. That's lead, Fred. Lead. So now, I gotta get underneath and take a man. I probably should just go underneath and weld it. Take a look, see what I've done, see if I caused myself any problems. Never thought of that. I got a cup. It's got a little. I'm gonna go underneath there and tack it and weld it. Get my push rod. All this stuff that I'm doing is work for Jolene. And what I mean by work for Jolene is it's got to be welded up. It's got to be welded up. Close that off, weld that up really nice. I'm gonna get on my mic here. Beautiful! You are Jolene. Jolene, beautiful. And sometimes, when I'm well, some most times when I'm doing something, I evaluate how long it will take and if it's worth it. You know, 
if it's worth it. That's what I generally do. If, I, if it's worth it. I got it. It's all good. I can push it. I can push it, baby. Ooh. This can be done any way you want it to be done. But you must admit, you must admit, it looks pretty easy <laughs> to square tube something and make a square panel to square things up. I would think it would make easy for everything. I'm just gonna weld a couple of welds while I'm here. Um, you think it would make it easy for everything, but I can't see, why, why can't I see? What's going on? Something messing my helmet up. Probably your light up there. Yeah, I find when you start squaring things up, it makes it easier. Flash that off with the grinder. So now I've got a little tiny piece here. We're gonna little tiny piece. We're gonna this is rusty right here. Probably we'll probably end up cutting this little corner right here. We'll make a new piece that comes in here and welds that welds down here, welds along there. We'll make a new piece there. We'll make a new piece for the other side. Then that means the back is closed off and tight. So if you reached underneath the car at any point in time, if you reached underneath the car and you went to pick it up. You could pick it up, your hands wouldn't go through it, you wouldn't get cut, you wouldn't be anything. You know, we get it welded up there, we get it ground off nice. Uh, Jolene suggested maybe put a piece of round rod around there. We might, you never know for something else. But right now, where, it, where it's welded like that, it's nice and tight. When you go to pick up on the car, this square stock, this, this is connected to the square stock, which is welded to the car. It would have to bend the car to bend this. You would have to bend the car because it's all square stock and gusset like there's one that's going across and there's one going down there's one going like this one going like that it makes it a gusset so this one is going straight across there's one that's going straight across the one from the top's going down which gives it a gusset so if you picked up on this it would push on this which hits that which stops it you know and which makes it totally strong um, we are at the back and uh, almost done closing it off almost done closing it off i'm just going to cut the back off here I'm going to leave the, the spot welds there because we're, we're going to not we're not going to bring the spot or the welds out like that. No, we're not. We're going to flush it off. But this is to hold it in place until we get there. And what I will do, this is what I'm going to do.
that's cut off like that now. And basically what I do is I get the flapper wheel. We'll flush it up. Just makes it easier if they're taking it off and on, off and on, off and on. Generally, we going to pick up that car today? Maybe. We, have, we bought a Packard here a while back. You watched us buy a Packard or Jolene filmed it. And we have to go get it. It's an hour and a half drive or a little bit better. We have to go get it. Sometimes it's hard to find the time. We get doing stuff. It's really hard to find the time. That can be pounded up there. Just going to buff it back a little bit where it's, where it's not welded. So we'll leave, we'll leave the welds there. We'll buff the center part back. We'll get that connected. And then we can flush them off and then weld it nice all the way along. This is another thing. This is another thing you have to put in perspective. What I'm doing here, you know, would have been easier if I put it up in there, well tacked it on, traced it off, went over there and cut it off, and then come over and put it on. And, and you know, is it would it be easier to do that, or is it easier just to tack it on, cut it off, and flush it up and weld it? It's kind of there's more than one way to what I'm trying to say. There's more than one way to do this, but I'm thinking that once I was under to tack it on. We'll cut it off and then go for it. So you can go back and forth if you want to. It's up to you. You have to keep in mind it's your party, and you cry if you can get to cry if you want to. That's basically what I'm telling you. It's your party. That one just come off because I grabbed it too far. I heard it. Go boink, just come off. Come off. See that one come off? I don't want them to come off. I'd like to have some weld on. I like. I like to actually have weld on the edge. I'd like to have. Yeah. I'd like to have weld on the edge. Something to grind when we go across there and weld that up. I might get Jolene to do this. Put a little, put a little extra, put a little extra, put a little extra weld on it. And the reason being is, so it's not sharp. So, if we wanted to, we just take our little handy dandy welding rod. That makes a nice little weld there. It's a little much for heat. I didn't want to put that much heat on it. But I'll take it off my lead. It's not hurting anything, I guess. But anyways, I like to build that up a little bit and then we can grind that edge off. A little, 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 there's a little there's a meat there that you can deal with instead of trying to weld that so tight together and make it sharp when it's ground off. It would be nice to have a little bit of um, round shape there. So you wouldn't hurt yourself if you ever grabbed it. Let's tighten that up. And when when this gets welded up, we will we will make sure, or not make yeah, we'll make sure if Jolene's gonna weld it one stitch at a time, 
we'll be fine. But if she's going to weld one, two, three, four, and try to, or a coat hanger and build it up a little bit, or a welding rod, then we'll have the air with us. The air will not go down here. The air will go up here where the heat's trying to rise. That's where it will go. Just a little bit surrounding. Just connecting it where, where it's tight and right right now. tight. When I'm welding like that, if I've got a little bit of lead there, when I weld it, if you have the air hose with you, as soon as you weld it and then you blow on it, you can blow a lot of that lead out of there. So as you heat it up with the welder, I have the air hose with me to blow the lead out. That's basically what I do. Just thought I'd tell you. I'm going to turn that off, flush that up, take a look from the inside. All right. So the alum so our aluminum floor is going to run back to the to the top of the square stock. And then that's it. We're closed off from there down. We will not need anything. We'll weld that all up along that edge. Uh, we'll make two pieces, one piece of this corner, one piece of that corner. Then the back of the car is completely tied in to, to the car. Back to tidy. Come see. Where I've taken and, and put a little coat hanger there, you can see how I can round that off nice, and there's some meat there that I can grind. If we butt weld it together and, and put no meat and then grind it off, we're not going to have much. Just want to get the heads of the ones I started with and knock them back so we can weld them on right. There we go. that one what's going wrong that one must have let go obviously did Just make it better for the welding. That was that was pretty easy, wasn't it, baby? You'll thank me. I'm gonna 
couple pieces of weld on that before I knock the rest of the weld off. What I mean by that, where I've got it up tight, I'll put a couple spots on it. What's that there going when it does that? You know what it is, don't you, baby? What? What is it? Right on, baby. Lead, she said. Lead. Nope, got to put that back in. Want that nice? Basically, that's the back end of the car tied in. I could pick the back of this car up with this now, would not hurt it a bit. I could pick the back of this car up because it's welded here, it's welded here, welded here, tacked all the way along here, we'll, we'll weld it all the way. But we're up inside on the square stock, you'd have to pull that all apart to make that move. Without this being connected to the square stock and you went to pick it up, you would bend it. Yes, you would. But now that we've got it connected, we're all good. So we're all the, you can see we're all the, where the, where the light is showing. It will not show no more once it's welded up. Uh, we'll weld that all, or Jolene's gonna weld that all the way along there. Good welding project for her. And like I said, we've got two little corners that we have to repair. There's rust there anyways. We still have to do this. We still have to do this. This is another, Jolene Weldon Project. I hate to say it, but it's true. It's true! So that'll look nice and nice and clean and straight. We'll weld that up there. We're nice, well, nice and clean and straight. We'll get that ground off with the square stock because that's all nice and clean and straight. We'll put a little piece in there. And the thing will be absolutely, absolutely tight and right. So basically, that's how we tied it all in. Our inside floor skeleton is 90% complete tied in where it's going. Um, we have made a car out of this. Deer licked 35 Ford. We've made it, we've made something out of it. This body could be taken off and used as anything. You could use it as a if you want to build a hot rod out of it. We're building a race car out of it, obviously. We want to do that. But also, as you look at it, you must realize that that car is tight and right. We've brought it all together. There's nothing that's missing, nothing that's you know not safe. Uh, the body would be just as tight as if you any other body I would say um, that's what I'm thinking as tight as any other body we are connected all the way across the back there's no everything's good so tomorrow I, I've said it before that we're gonna do the doors but we had to finish that off got to finish that off uh, but the next you come back tomorrow or the next day or something like that then we're gonna have to continue on with the doors and uh, put the floor in it and let Jolene drive it. But basically, that's what's going on. We might have to do a radiator thing. We have to do that. I keep jumping ahead a little bit, but only because I want to get it so she can test drive it. But other than that, I think it's going real good. We've taken the piece off the back, which is more weight. We had a, a couple people say take off the wheel cylinders and the back and plates. We are going to do that. Do that too. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing this. And I hope as you watch, you feel, you feel that you could do the exact same thing to a rusty deer lick body. Uh, if you do not feel that way, go back from the very start and watch the videos 
of us putting the square stock on the floor, on the frame. Watch us do that and watch it a couple times. Really, honestly, watch it a couple times. Any young person, any elderly person, anybody that wants to know <laughs> how you make something that... What I'm, what I'm trying to say is that I would not be... You know, once the, once the floor is in it, you made a nice floor for this. If you want to put beads in it, if you want to put circles in it, if you want to put rectangles in it, whatever you want to do, once you put the floor in this car, to me, I feel like this 35 Ford is as good as any other 35 Ford because there's no rod in it. All the rod is gone. It would have a brand new floor. And there was not much more you would want, I would say. Um, it's not original, but that's not the kind of guy I am. If I wanted something original, that's what we would buy. Um, that's not what we do here. We build dream cars, cars that you've never seen before. And I hope that you I hope that everybody that has watched has got something from that and they feel like they could square tube something up and set it down on top and do the exact same thing. It's pretty, it's pretty basic. Um, you just got to not overthink it. You just got to do it when it comes time. Let's give away a hat or shirt. Let's do it. Join me, got to probably run somewhere today, probably we should go get that car because we have to go get it sometime. It's just hard to go get it when we have so much to do during the day. And uh, yeah, we have a lot to do during the day. Yes, we do. We're having fun though, believe me, we're having fun or I'm having fun. We got the back of the car welded up, that looks good. It looks better than it did. It really does. I enjoy that we've got a little bit hanging down just a little tiny bit there. The car looks much better without the mullet, I'm, I'm thinking. I feel like the car probably feels much better connected than loose and ragged like that. I was gonna leave the back on it before and then, then, then we get going with things and it gets carried away and I have to fix it. And Jolene is welding the car up and fixing it with me. So that's, that's fun. 521, 521 comments. We've got to thank you. Thank you very much. Every day we, we get comments, and we have to thank the people that are willing to throw them out. Um, we're willing to show you what we're doing every day, and thanks for the, you know, the respect. I have missed a few videos, so what happened to the cab over? Well, right now at the present moment, I'm leaning on the cab over, and it, the, the cab over has come to a point where I feel like I want to get the outside body body work done and get it in shape and get some primer on it really because the inside to me when I start working on the inside and doing the floor and stuff like that um, it's to me it's going to be basic uh, it's going to be basic and the reason I mean it's going to be basics because I'm going to do the exact same thing I done there I'm going to put some sills on the inside where they're going to weld on the inside the doors and I'm going to cross member it like you would your house that's what I'm going to do and if I have any problems or any issues then that's when I deal with it like so it's the inside of this truck to me is pretty well licked in my brain. On the inside of the box, you know, I've got to run some sheet metal down here. I've got to run some studs up to connect my sheet metal too to square it off and make it look right. But basically I am taking some time off the cab over. I've I put a good effort on that. And sometimes when you put that much effort into something, it's nice to just get back off for a little bit. This is not a little picture that I'm painting. <laughs> no, this is a truck I'm building. Um, it takes some people years and years and years and years to build something. Um, I'm building something from nothing, or not nothing, um, car dear cars that I have, and it does take time, but you need to, you know, I like to keep my motivation up, and to keep motivated, I like to spread it around a little bit and do a bunch of things. And uh, don't, be, don't be all upset when I finish three or four cars, and you say, well, how do you do that? Well, I, I worked on a bunch of different cars at a different, different time, and at one period, they'll all come together or I'll feel like finishing something, and that's how it gets done. Uh, before, before TV and before we were doing this, uh, I would build a car for myself every year, and I would try to get it mustered up and get it done. I'd build a new car every year um, just because I was trying to show that I could do it and that, you know, and, and I wasn't a one-hit wonder. No, not a one-hit wonder. Just like, just like I was talking to Jolene this morning, I'm so happy that we are doing the YouTube channel because once TV's over, it doesn't mean I'm stopping. You know what I mean? Once TV has, you know, COVID hit and, and shut us down, doesn't mean that I'm stopping. I am who I am. You know what I mean? I, I, I still build cars. And I'm so happy that we get to uh, do it this way 
if we're not doing it the other way. And uh, yeah, we are who we are. We build cars. And um, I'm trying to prove it every day that that's what we do. And um, right now, it's me and Jolene, and I like it that way because there's only one attitude I have to put up with, and that's mine. James Pin Picard, Pincard, James Picard, he is one a hat or shirt of his choice. I have missed a few episodes of so what happened to the cab over. It's still here. It's going to get finished, but what's going to happen is I'm trying to bust out this little race car. I had a... I had a brain fart, watch we here, I had a brain fart on, on my birthday that I wanted to do something different. Once I cut the roof off it and made it look like something, I was sort of hooked. And, th and now um, I feel like we may as well just keep on and, and get it. It's not going to be finished. I'm not going to finish it, you know, finish it, finish it. But we want to get it tight and get it right maybe get it moving and that sort of stuff so we can start it and move it, leave it outdoors, whatever you want to do, but at least it's done that far. And when it comes for pine, comes time for pine tree, I'm hoping that this winter I'll be in here busting my, my arse on this one, on the cab over, and then I can, the race car in the summertime, we can just go over it again and we'll have, be ready. We'll be ready with the truck, I'll be ready with that. That will be ready. Um, we might make a trailer, I'm not sure, I don't know. Um, I, I'll probably even bust out a little bit on Jolene's car too. Um, we're not where we want to be with our wedding plans, we're not, so the car's not staying where it's at, you know. That car right there is for us, or for her, but it's for me too, and that special day will come when we're ready. Uh, we do, we do, I hate to say it, no, I don't hate to say it, we do things here to please ourselves, <laughs> basically. But I'm very happy that you enjoy watching um, the freedom that we have. We have freedom here, and freedom is doing what you want on your project, that is freedom. Freedom to the max, you can do whatever you want. And that right there, right there is freedom, freedom, freedom. Do not let anybody tell you, you cannot do it, or that doesn't look right, or I don't like. Do it your way and be happy.